Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevin here from the Grown Younger team, and today's video is a little bit, uh, a little bit different to normal. Okay, and I want to just uh, talk about what Arnold Schwarzenegger actually has just started doing um, in terms of trying to lose some weight for the summer. Okay, so it's obviously in a lot of places in the world, summer's coming right now, um, and people are trying to lose weight. Um, and Arnold Schwarzenegger at the minute has been literally keeping a, a bit of a journal and a newsletter, which he's been sent out to about 21 million people, which is pretty incredible, right? Now, the article I read was quite interesting. It basically states, and I'll leave a link for you to read it down below. It's actually not a bad article. Arnold Schwarzenegger says, Arnold Schwarzenegger says that cutting out bread helps him lose weight, but dietitians say calorie deficit is more important than banning carbs. Really, really good um, headline, really, really good topic, something I always promote. Now, what you're going to understand with Alan Schwarzenegger is he is an advocate for health and fitness. He has been doing health and fitness since he was uh, a young young boy, um, and literally he's lived it his whole life. He is, um, he's put bodybuilding on the map, um, and being fit and healthy has basically given him all the opportunities he has ever wanted to achieve what he's achieved in his life. Um, he's very, very inspirational. He's somebody I kind of look up to, uh, although I'm not a bodybuilder, but he's certainly so, his, um, his rules of success. So if you haven't ever watched a video about his rules of success, it's absolutely amazing. His speech is cool. I'll leave a uh, link down below for you to look at that as well if you want. So while well, Arnold Schwarzenegger, you've got to understand that he, although he's 73 years old, he has been in the fitness game for a long, long time. He knows what he's doing, obviously, because of what he is, who he is, you know. Um, and what he's doing is he's cutting out bread to lose some weight. So... Uh, basically what's happened is, is that he is um, he said he's almost at his goal weight of 218 pounds um, and he's got five pounds to go okay and he's not there yet so what he's done is he has started to cut out bread in order to lose the last bit of weight now the, um, the dietitian that got on board with this article talked about calorie deficit and as you if you listen to me you always understand I talk about calorie deficit because if you lose if you reduce your calories you will lose weight it doesn't necessarily mean though that you've got to cut out bread to do it bread is a staple in everyone's diet okay and you got to think about this way if you cut out something that's a staple in your diet you're not going to be able to do it for long periods of time and if you can't adhere to the diet for long periods of time then it's no point in even even trying to start because ultimately you're going to find yourself in a very similar position you are now if you put the bread back in that is why i don't recommend ketogenic diets and paleo diets because you need to do a diet that is familiar to what you currently do to be able to stick to it because if it's too unfamiliar you're not going to be able to stick to that diet so he's celebrating his progress he's got five pounds to go it's a couple of kilos it's not a lot to go um and they're saying you know they jump on the bandwagon and say that the no bread approach may work for him but not others and i agree um sometimes you know cutting out a food group you can do it but a lot of people can't a lot of people like bread they like toast they like sandwiches they like things they're easy is convenient there's absolutely no reason we should cut that out what you need to do is reduce your portion sizes or do what I, do something I recommended the other day was instead of having normal bread, have something called Vogel Thins, which are thinner slices of bread with less calories in, which means you can still have bread, it's just less calories um, and you can uh, be in a calorie deficit that way. Now, what they uh, what they say also is that uh, bread is often demonized, okay? And, it's, and it's true, it is demonized. People always say cut out food, uh, cut out bread. So let's think about this way. If you're somebody that eats lots of bread throughout the day and all of a sudden cut it out, all you've done is cut out the calories from bread. You've lost weight so you think that the cutting out bread is the key to losing weight when it isn't is actually the reduction of calories from your from your diet for a short period of time which has then contributed to weight loss okay really important to understand that it wasn't the food itself it was the fact you reduced the calories are you with me all right so so with um with, with this article you read it yourself if you go through it people are kind of um they just call it something like uh, calling him out jumping on it saying that you know he needs to ensure that he has other sources of starchy carbohydrates because bread is is kind of healthy and fits and bobs Arnold Schwarzenegger knows exactly what he's talking about all I want to highlight to you is is that the article is very important and the fact is that just because he is cutting out bread doesn't mean that you can do the same thing it just means you need to be in a calorie deficit okay that is all the video is about that is what I want to highlight because what you find when you've got 21 million people following you and you say something people will copy what you do Okay, and it's just important to know that you know it isn't magic by cutting out bread. Okay, it just isn't. Uh, the, the key is calorie deficit. Being a calorie deficit, eat the foods that you like, reduce the calories just a little bit, and you will be able to lose weight. Okay, and you don't it doesn't need to be a crazy deficit either. Um, it can just be two to three hundred calories per day. A slow, steady weight loss is the absolute key to do that. Okay, 
Um, and obviously, uh, doing what we do, we specialize in people over the age of 40, okay, which is really important because he's 73, okay, and that's, I just want to highlight that, um, you know, you can still lose weight as you get older, even though people say you can't do it, but the methods that people use are not always the best way, and people do tend to cut out food groups um, in the hope to lose weight when you don't have to do it, okay, you just need to find out how many calories you need, and you track it through my fitness pal, uh, see where you're at, then reduce them slightly, you do a little bit of cardio, so add some weight training in, the more muscle on your body that you got, the more calories you're going to burn at rest. Uh, steady state cardio because it's easier to do, easier to manage, less likely to want to hit, not do it, um, but burn extra calories and you will lose weight. Okay, so anybody that is struggling to lose weight, you just need to do those things. All right, um, and that is pretty much the end of the video. Not too uh, too crazy. So what we're doing at the moment, we're doing a 21 day free challenge. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, there's a link down below to join our 21 day free trial. We are very, very good at what we do. We're, we're award-winning exercise, um, award-winning studio in the Exercise New Zealand Industry Awards 2020. It's actually a mouthful to say. Um, and we won it in the category of innovation because we have a very unique approach to how we approach the, um, the health for people over 40. We make it easier for you, okay? We don't, um, you know, it's nothing crazy. And what we do is very simple. It's calories in, calories out. It's, it's a good, solid exercise routine. Um, and we give you everything that you need, the tools that you need, okay, to do that. And if you'd like to do it for free, 21 days, okay, on average, people lose about three kilos, okay? Nothing crazy, but it's a good, 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 it's a really, really good kickstart for you to move forward. Link down below if you want to do it, okay? So that's it. Arnold Schwarzenegger, you don't need to cut out bread, bro. You just need to uh, reduce your calories a little bit. But hey, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, what do I know? If you like the video, guys, do us a favor, like, subscribe, comment, uh, share the video, um, and, and read the article, really, really, really good. It's nice and short, um, and it really uh, aligns with kind of my uh, um, ethos of how to lose weight. And these dietitians are actually on point on this, this occasion. You're not trying to say it's anything crazy. It is literally saying what it is. A really good article. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.